Easy, Mom. Easy. I know. Ugh, it's so, it's so hot and bright, muggy. Morning, everybody. Chad, Doss Outdoors. Woo! So we had a little stretch of cool weather. Yeah, she gone. And, whoop, union forward. And it's gone. It's gone, gone. It's, uh, I'm complaining, but it's only clear the notifications. 81 degrees at 10 a.m., when the other day, it was like 58 degrees. Er my gosh, man. That felt amazing. This 81 stuff is for the birds. I don't like it. Or for somebody that likes warm weather. If you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. This is my lovely wife and I's 40 acres in Northeast Oklahoma. Some cattle, donkeys, and a pig. And we're always trying to expand that. We're going to be switching to uh, get some chickens here pretty soon. We had some. We lost them unfortunately to a coyote and a couple of raccoons and even one feral cat. And I don't mean a kitty named Bob, I mean an actual cat. I don't even see him. Where in the world? <laughs> Lily, your dad is so loud. He's so loud. Franklin! You're being sneaky. Lucy, your belly still looks huge, which means you haven't shared the baby. But you're being, usually you'd come right up here. Are you not because of that one? Okay, that's what I figured. Frank, you're kind of a space invader. Hello, young lady. Hello. Hi. It's all right. It's all right. Can we see the baby kick? Can we see the baby kick? Huh? It's mooing at me. But yes, our intentions are to get more pigs. More pigs. We're our actually that's true too. Our intentions are to get more pigs and more chickens. But we got to fortify something for the chickens before we get them. Look at taters. Taters and Frank went the wrong way. Yeah. No. Hey. Woo. Listen. Stop there, Franklin. Badonk, what's up, buddy? What's it doing, brother? So anyway, look at the wheels on that pig. That's some fast food now. Lily. All right. Let's get, uh, let's get Izzy your own scoop over here. Hang on. Rah. So yes, I intend to get some more oinkers and chickens, but the predator load at this 40 acres, it's not, it's not terrible. The issue is we're up against somebody with 800 acres and we're up against another place with a little over 200. So when land goes unchecked, that's what happens. Izzy, oh, she put it in four wheel drive. Nom, 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 nom. That's a good pig. It's a good pig, Izzy. Izzy poo. There we go. That's what I was waiting on. All right. We slipped in the gate. 
over here. Who knocked out the hose? Franklin. Look at that red mineral water. That's some good stuff right there. Kind of hoping they just leave me alone for a second. He's head down eating. Ooh, today's the day. Today's the day on several fronts. Here he comes, look. He can't stand it. He can't stand it. He's got to be in everybody's business. All right. I need to count how many nuts and bolts I need and watch my back for this hay ring from our friends at AeroQuip. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's three panels, five on each. Carry the nine. That's 15, right? 15 nuts and bolts. Anything inside of about a half inch ought to fit. Oh, goodness. Franklin, disregard the trash. It was here when we bought the place, but I need to find a way to get out of here now without them chasing me. These trash piles come in handy though. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Yep, you're teaching your cousin your tricks. Look at him. Stinkers. No, you guys stay there. Yes, I just ran a couple hundred feet, so I'm winded. If you're not, you're not doing it right. Winner! Goose! Mmm! <laughs> Little palm tree is going strong. When it got here, I mean, I only ordered a five footer. So this is over the summer and we've been in a drought. I'm barely watering it, barely watering it. I just hope it survives. We're gonna see, I planted that and I planted this little uh, Eastern white pine right here and she's doing pretty good. I've got an app on my phone that reminds me when to water them. This pine has taken more water than the app has suggested. It's the picture of this app. But I hope it makes it. The only thing I'm worried about the palm tree is obviously they're not really made for cold, cold weather, at least not being outside in the earth. I'm at the age where I get in groups on Facebook just because I wanna see if something works. And true story, there's a Facebook group for people that wanna grow palm trees in cold weather climates. So I found this old boy in that group that's got a palm tree in Kansas City, which is like two and a half, almost three hours north of here. And it's always colder up there all winter. And he's got that exact same tree. And it's like 15 feet tall in his yard. Well, they're supposed to be 45 feet tall. He thinks that the cold weather stunted its growth, but he's still got one. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this tree will do it. Oh man, I can never remember. Nope, that goes to the sprinkler. But let me show you guys something, watch this. There we go. If that shoots out water, I'm gonna be amazed. Dude, I'm just waiting for this to just drill me. Something ain't right, man. There's no reason this shouldn't be shooting out water. What am I missing here? We have a ton of water pressure. We're not kinked, but I couldn't get it to work the other day. We're gonna revisit that after we get the cows water. So if you're new here, we had this cleared, it's about an acre and a half, and I've thrown fescue everywhere. And thanks to the winds that we've had, the fescue is covered and it's amazing. Now I just need to water it. And I bought some of these real nice sprinklers. And my dad's got a couple. And my dad's kind of a yard guru, I guess would be the right way to put it. And he was like, man, where you've got your hoses laid, it wouldn't take four of those tripod sprinklers to water that whole area and you wouldn't have to move them. You just have to turn them on two or three times a day. And I was like, let's do it. So I set one up and I turned it on and I don't get any, there's no water coming out, but I know there's pressure. I mean, where that water's coming out right over here 
is like 200 more feet than that sprinkler over there from the well house. So something's up with that sprinkler. That's all I can figure out. I've got another one in the garage. My dad's got two I can borrow. And I think I'm gonna hook the other one up. And if it works, then it's just that sprinkler. What do you think about that, buddy? What do you think? Saturday morning, we got a new little calf. That's Allie, and that's her mom. And she will straight roll me if I'm not careful. Look, she's already, look at that. Look at that, she knows I'm coming in. Yeah, she's not tossing dirt for flies, okay? We've seen this the last couple, <laughs> the last couple days. She's making it clear she don't want anybody up there. Nelly, how are you feeling, by the way? How are you feeling? You look better. You do. Yeah. Ears are forward, listening, wagging tail. So we gave her a dewormer the other day. Whether she actually had worms or not, I don't know. I'm starting to think the vet was right which I don't, I don't doubt veterinarians, but this was unfamiliar territory with me, but the vet stated, this is her, her calf right here, five months old. The vet stated that when we go through these dry spells, spring calves can actually tax a mom's health. And that's likely what's happened, which is why Nellie looks a little bit skinnier. Her bag's really small, but basically that calf should not be nursing on mom anymore. Now, you can, I mean, five weeks is no big deal. And she's a tall calf, okay? Or I'm sorry, she's a tall cow because her calf is, I think lady, her calf is a month younger than one of our bull calves. And that calf is taller than our bull calf and he's a month older. So that's MJ born March 5th. And this is honey <laughs> a month later in April. And she's huge. So we think she was just taxing mom a little bit. Hi, buddy. What's she doing, brother? What's she doing? Can I get that fly? Can I get that fly? I, it's not me. It's a fly. Can I get it? Get out of there. Shoo, fly. Shoo. Oh, got to move. If the donkey moves, you move. Because that means the cows are moving. <laughs> It'd be awesome if Glory would come down here and sample some H2O. And I'd get you guys real close to the calf. But yeah, look at these two. They're going to be almost even here in a second. You can see the size comparison. But seriously, which one of those calves looks like it was born in March and which one looks like it was born in April? They certainly don't look a month apart. So. Anyway. Morning, Miss Bell. This is mom right here, actually. But you can see how much shorter mom is than Nellie. I mean, she's a lot shorter. So she normally doesn't carry a whole lot of weight. Um, yeah, just part of it, but we're keeping an eye on her. Right now she's getting water right out of the ground. We have a holding tank and a pressure tank, which I believe are 200 gallons combined, maybe 250. So after that gets almost full, that water's coming right out of the ground. It's like 55 degrees, they love it. And it's that good hard mineral water. Is she gonna let me come up there? Can I say hi? Please? <laughs> Still watching the teats. So if you missed our DOS Farms video, Glory had mastitis a couple of calves ago which happens on farms. It's no big deal. It's not like something's wrong with the land or where it was. I think that means stay right over here. <laughs> but it's not red. It's not inflamed. She's not in pain. She's just letting me know that I'm close enough. There's the rest of the herd. Beans, what's up, buddy? Uncle Finn, Miss Bonnie, Princess, Fiona, and Tipsy are over here. Let's see if she'll let me walk up over here a little bit. And 
this is as far as we're gonna go because we've got some trees around us and to whether it's good or bad if you need to run from glory just head for two trees that are real close together because she ain't gonna clear them look at the little baby easy mom easy i know It's all right. It's okay. Woo! Mom's a big girl. Just gorgeous. Little Allie. Just checking on her. That's close enough for me unless I've got the side-by-side, -side, which I didn't bring. When they hear the tractor or the side-by-side, -side, they know they're getting food kind of disturbs them they get excited they get a little more rambunctious and other than case my oldest boy i'm the only one here today here right now at the house rather not find out how fast glory is when i'm solo hey brother i'm not even sure how you guys do that how do you do that how do you get that out of there every time i come up here i put them worming blocks back in every single time is it you? Are you doing it? See, then I have to touch them. Bit, 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 bit. Are you silly animals? Morning, buddy. Morning. There we go. We'll go this way, because you're the little one. Whew. Everybody looks good. What's up, buddy? Yeah, you'll smell that molasses on my hand trying to lick them up. Golly. Look at that. Oh, man. That looks good. That looks good. What's going on? It's been a few hours. I need to make some room in the freezer and get this beef in there. This is our steer we had processed last week. No, two weeks ago. But shout out to MM Butchering. Uh, second, third time I've used them. Quick turnaround. Vacuum sealed. Just cut it how we want it, and I'll give you the specs if you're, if you're curious. I'll give you the uh, specs on how much beef we got out of a longhorn steer. Stay tuned. I'm going to get a 15-year-old that's bigger than me to help move uh, several hundred pounds of beef. Worse. Oh. So, wait, wait. Look. You know how many people are going to think that's our address? This is how it's not. far down. Not really. We didn't really run out that much. We had... This much left, so we did pretty good. But yeah, we were down to our, our last pound of ground beef, though. Yes, I was gonna say none of that's ground beef. Which Correct. We we'll use like daily. Right. Anyway. So here's what you want to do: ground beef at the bottom. Put that in the basket, so we yeah. know it's up there. This is a beefy boy. But we'll save that. <laughs> this is Longhorn. Yep. So. No, that's anyway. A burger bro. That's a burger bro. My bad. But a, a baldy yeah, steer, well, not a longhorn. Yeah. yeah. So you put the ground beef at the bottom. That way you don't have to dig through it. See, that one's not even frozen yet. Not entirely. Feel that? Yeah, that's what she was saying. Yep. Case was going to help me do this, but he's homeschooled online. And, uh, you know, it's so funny when he's doing his... Now, listen, Case is awesome at his school. He does it by himself. It's self-checked. I just log in and make sure he's doing it. But it's funny when he when he wakes up in the morning, he has to start. He's like, all right, I'm going to get at it. I'm like, sweet. And then I go ask him, hey, man, you want to take a break and move some beef? Oh, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm right in the middle of this lesson, Dad. <laughs> Hang on. Did you, uh, did you wake him up early? 
No, he did. Yeah, I was wondering. Well, I was gone and so were you. And we have a camera in the kitchen just so we can we can see the kitchen table where the boys are eating when we're out at the farm. That's why there's a camera on the kitchen table. He has to start his schoolwork by nine. That's the rule we've made. But this morning, it was like 7.05. It, yeah, I mean, I came out at 8.30 to leave the house and, or no, yes, I came back, I'm sorry, I came back from getting, taking Carter to school and Case's sound machine was off when I walked in the door. Cause when you walk in the door, you can hear it. Cause we use sound machines when we sleep, but it was off and I was like, well, I find, he must want to be done early today. I text, <laughs> I text him and I said, I was, I'd taken Adler to school and I text Case. I said, you all right? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's how his text sound in my head. I talk like he does. Yeah. He's grown. <laughs> he is grown up for sure. Okay. Hang on a second. Time out. We're not that far in. We're gonna count how much ground beef we have. I See you when you're done. I don't know. I don't know. Huh? 196. 196. 196 pounds of ground beef. And we so think dead. this is steak. So let us check. We think this is steak. And I think every bag actually had 50 pounds in it, but we got going really quick and got two and a half bags in before we checked. So that's why we had to count. We did not get a sheet that broke it down which I've gotten one of those at another place, but that was like four years ago. So, and they're also an hour and a half away. So we don't go there anymore. Are so. all the bags gone? That's all the beef, or all the bags in the back of the truck, yeah. When we were counting the ones that we put in the freezer already, we were off a few. So I would say we have about 200 pounds of True. ground beef. Yeah, I, we, we counted what, 87 in there? Yeah, when I got done, like, I was like plus or minus three because they were like falling all over each other. Yeah. So I would imagine it's 200 pounds of ground beef. We want another one of these. Yeah. Because you want a chest freezer for your, I'm sorry, you want a chest freezer for your ground beef, in my opinion, and then you want one of these for your steaks. Hmm. And I've shown this off before, because like you just said, two weeks after we met is like, I literally took the beefy boys yeah. to the processor like the day before we met, because you never saw them. Nope. You met Fred, June, and Tessie. Yes. You never saw the, yeah, I think I took the beefy boys like that morning. Yeah. And then I bought this, let's see, I bought this one, like it was delivered like the week we met. Uh, yeah, I remember. And then we got all the beef back a week later. I remember. But this is where we keep like freezer groceries. But you can see we're having one like this for steak. And be careful, people are going to tell us that's not food. That's food. Those are delicious. That's food. I will fight you. <laughs> but, and you know what's funny? We have two bags of popsicles. Do you know who's in the house that's eating more popsicles than anyone? You. <laughs> hey, man, it's good. I know. Except I ain't eating them flavors, man. And listen, I don't know who made cherry taste like Robitussin, <laughs> but that's cruel. That's an act of criminal. That's an act of war. I don't like it. You get T-bones. Let's pack it too. Nice. Ooh. I haven't done that before. You have to break them up. There's two. So what you do is you put your ground beef in first. Then you know you always reach to the bottom. You get ground beef. When the new freezer comes in, we'll uh, be able to get our steaks off the top real easy. Yeah. So we'll only pull from there for a little bit. Yeah. These are all T-bones. Always funny when you process something. There's someone that doesn't raise their own beef that calls you out for the size of the steaks because you took a longhorn and not a 1,500 pound Charlet or something. Yeah. Well, you can get a steak and something if it'd be bigger than that. Yeah. But this was, this whole, well, we'll tell them the fees here in a minute. But look at these briskets. Where are we? They're real skinny though. <laughs> <laughs> but That's okay. Billy, Billy. This is our favorite right now, roast. They're still feeding us, yep. nurturing our bodies. From the beefy boys. There's one in there right now, yeah? The Burger Bros? Yeah, I've got a pot roast in the crock pot currently yeah. from did, the Burger Bro. I did raise it though. These are two pound roasts. Yes. We had one pound last time and realized that was way too small. Yep. I'm excited to see how much a two pound roast will make with potatoes and carrots and stuff. Oh, look, here you go. Because with five of us in the house, 
Filet. Oh, I'm sorry, ribeye. Another roast. Look at that. I know. I'm so mm, He was so lean. <laughs> <laughs> ribeye. One more bag. T-bone. Sirloin. It's a big old sirloin. That's good. Wow. There he is. And sirloin. Sirloin. When you have little boys, these sirloin steaks are good. Yes, it's hot in here. It's a million degrees in here. Mm -hmm. These uh, sirloins are great for the little boys because they can't really eat a whole one. But you can cut them up and cut the grizzle off so they get a lot of flavor. Yeah. But, uh, ribeye, 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 ribeye. T-bone, sirloin, sirloin, sirloin. Wow. So how many pounds of beef did we get out of CJ? 504. 504 pounds. And the processing fee was 448. Now you have to, there's $75 deposit, so I had $75 to that, so about five and a quarter. Yeah. So 500 and a quarter, $525. We just got 504 pounds of beef. And the important thing is, for us, 200 pounds of ground beef. And I think I saw probably 20 roasts in there. And those are two pounds a piece. That's 40 pounds of roast beef. Yes. No regrets. You broke it down to 89 cents a pound? That's what it comes out to, yeah. And I don't know what everybody out there is paying for, you know, organic beef. But CJ had a dewormer, a black leg shot, and his calf shots. And that was it. And we know what he ate. For two years. And he ate nothing but we what we bought him. So he had 18 months of that was <laughs> good quality hay. Yes. Or fescue. Yep. No complaints. So 89 cents a pound of beef and yeah. yeah, or, you know, less than a dollar or whatever it breaks down to. We've got 200 pounds of ground beef, like, and then. Well, and somebody could probably do the math, but CJ was $500. That's how much a longhorn steer was. Now the red Charlet we just bought was $800 but he's clearly going to be bigger. Yeah. And he's a beef cow or beef cattle. Yeah. But $500 steer. We raised him. Very little feed cost. He cleaned up land for us. <laughs> he was great entertainment. He had a personality of a tree. Yeah, he did. I don't know, a tree. I may hang out with a tree before I... No, I'm just kidding. I don't ever want to sound like I'm devaluing the life of this animal because we greatly appreciate it. And I thank God that we live in a position in a country in a place in a time where we can still do this not that we can but that we can still do this um i could share this with my family i was on the phone with mom and dad and that was the first thing mom said was well when are you coming over so anyway we get to feed our families and i was going to say something that i forgot so well like the fourth of july we had to buy steaks because we ate so many but yeah. we bought them from someone we know mm -hmm. that raises them like we do mm -hmm. And it was an honor to support that family as well. Yes. And feed our family. And our family, too. Listen, my dad don't eat anything he's seen or touched. He don't like it. He says he could eat CJ, though, because he didn't, like, interact with him. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's just how it is. That's life. It, it is life. They, he is feeding our family, and I'm very much appreciated, appreciative. And I personally like being able to go to the grocery store and get snacks for the boys and get stuff that we need and like buns, but I don't have to seek out the meat and I don't have to buy meat. And I, ju I just like going to the grocery store and not having to buy a bunch of beef and chicken and meat and stuff. Well, like what I've noticed is now that the boys are getting older and they eat beef, you have taken, it's made you feel good to know that you can buy like your carrots, your potatoes, some spices, and you just use water with the roast. Yeah. And what, you know, and a nice cooker. And that's all you got to get when you go to Walmart and you can throw in a roast that we raised. Yes. And, and I know that my, you know, our, our beef is here at home and I don't have to forget it or anything like that. And we just have. Well, it's just a blessing. Every, everybody knows that. We just love you guys and appreciate you coming along with us. And, and with three boys, I'd be going to the store and buying beef daily. I, we, I don't so know how, I, I personally, yeah, I love it. I've said it before. I don't know how my parents did it. We ate a lot of hamburger helper, meatloaf. Yeah. Dad used to make steak, but he'd make charcoal steak, as I call it. 
But on the 4th of July, before that grown man had his open heart surgery, <laughs> he let me make a mistake the way I make it. And he said it was one of the best steaks he's ever had in his life. And the trick is just get that sucker off the grill. Let it finish grilling. Let it fish, finish cooking. Off the grill. Off the grill. While it's hot. Get her off of there. <laughs> okay? Even my eggs. When I scramble eggs, I let them finish in the pan on the back burner. Wish I could teach Case that. And the house wouldn't smell like eggs. <laughs> or ramen. But. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's it. I did get the nuts and bolts for C or uh, sorry to say CJ again because I thought of the hay ring. See what he's done to me? It was time. Oh my gosh. But I did get the nuts and bolts for the hay ring and I'm super excited, but I'm not going out there while it's 91 degrees. I haven't. Summer's back. This sweat that's all over me. I haven't felt this for like a week and it's I very know. uncomfortable. I don't like it. I feel like I need to go take a shower and it's like two o'clock. I know. So I'm just a big wine bag today. Guy brought home 500 pounds of beef, and I'm complaining about the heat. But I am well, we, excited to set up the heat. Oh, I, I got cat food. They saw the cat. I sent them the video. I showed them the video. So we'll see. We'll either feed raccoons. I'm still not convinced that it's like a ha like a cat. Oh, it's not. You're not going to touch this cat. You don't think it's a bobcat? Definitely not a bobcat. It had a tail. Bobcats have little bitty tails. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Y'all, that thing was huge. It was big. I'll see if we can get him on camera more because it's hard for us to show you how big he is because there's nothing in the background to compare to. So, because I've been doing this almost five years now, well, what I'll do is what I'll, what, I'll, what, I'll, what I'll do is bait <laughs> next to something they can see in their heads, like a basketball. Mm. Then when it's on camera, you'll be like, "Holy cow, it is a big kitty!" Well, that clip where it stretched. Did you? Can, yeah. you, can they see that? Mm -hmm. Y'all. Is your arm getting tired? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Y'all are probably tired of me holding it because I'm shaky. <laughs> so, anyway, I think that's it. We're going to go in and uh, partake in the one of the roasts from the last one. But yeah. well, this is our first Longhorn beef. I'm excited to see what that tastes like. So, I'm excited and nervous. I think it's going to be about the same as the Beefy Boys. But we did not entirely grass feed the Beefy Boys like we did, or CJ like we did the Beefy Boys. The Beefy Boys had a lot of grass over at Mom and Dad's. A lot. I'm nervous and scared because I think it's going to be a little bit on the sweeter side, but I'm okay with that. I'm excited to try it. Plus, we have a lot of ground beef, which nervous. is going to go into like tacos, yes. spaghetti. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. So you won't taste it anyway. You'll taste what you, even the roast, that's what you'll taste. Yeah. You'll taste the seasoning. I will say this. There's no way for me to like go back and show you, but the beefy boys, which were our Angus Holstein crosses, the fat, the marbling was yellow because they were so lean and ate a lot of grass. CJ here got a lot of cubes, a lot of grain, a lot of that real good grain that came in the grain cart last year. So, yeah. I know he was fatty-ish. I just know Longhorns are leaner. Yeah. So. I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll eat it too. <laughs> For me. All right. No, you got to wait on this timer thing. It doesn't let you open it because it has to return back to the right temperature. Oh. Yeah. I've tried to force it open. You can't do it. You need bicep surgery if you do it. <laughs> anyway, with that said, we're going to go in, relax, get out of the heat. At this time of this video, right now, 2 p.m. on the 11th, uh, yeah, no baby donkey. But. Bye. Anyway, see you guys. <laughs> Now he shows up. We just moved 500 pounds.